welcome to another vlog on Coastal Mad Ian on YouTube. Today I am at Chesington for their Halloween event here at the park. Yeah, I haven't been to Chesington for a long, long time, honestly. It's been an absolute while. Um, so yeah, uh, getting on some rides. Also watching the Van Yan show uh, for the final time here um, as this park is getting refurbed. Um, the Wild Asia area here at the park is getting refurbed. So yeah, I uh, can't wait to go and watch that show. It was absolutely incredible when I last watched it here at Chesington. So yeah, today I'm joined with Gavin. Hi! Yeah, uh, he's back in my vlog. He hasn't been here for a long time. Um, so yeah, I haven't done Chesington that much this year. So yeah, let's get inside and head straight towards Mandrill Mayhem. Gonna enjoy our day here at Chesington Halloween. Also, we got Enchanted Hollows booked as well, uh, which is the upcharge uh, attraction here at Halloween. Um, costing five pound uh, each for a um, to get in Enchanted Hollows. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day and hopefully a quiet day as well. So let's go and explore Chesington Halloween here at Chesington. Let's go. So we are just queuing up for Dragon's Fury, the Marathon spinning coaster. Since I've been on uh, Wind Jazz Fear and False Light last week, uh, this does not compare to any of the Wind Jazz Fear and False. That was amazing last week. But yeah, go and check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it on my YouTube channel. But yeah, um, in the meantime, let's get on Dragon's Fury here at Chesington World of Adventures. It's quite busy today, honestly. I didn't expect it to be this busy today. But yeah, uh, I do still love um, Dragon's Fury here at Chesington. It is a very good um, marathon spinning coaster. So yeah, see you after. Come off Dragon's Fury. Let's go for a spin. just came off of Dragon's Fury that was probably one of the worst rides I've probably had on Dragon's Fury honestly that was really slow um, it didn't hardly spin at all like honestly but yeah um, a good classic here at Chesington but yeah uh, just don't go on Dragon's Fury in the morning honestly you, you want to get a good ride some somewhere in the middle of the day or at the end of the day honestly it's worth the queue at the end of the day honestly but yeah it is a good ride here good classic here but wind just fear and false especially fear is better than that honestly but yeah we are just heading towards uh, tiger rock now doing a log flume in uh, october in uh, england you know very good idea Um, I think someone's snoring. Um, yeah, just come off of uh, Tiger Rock here. Uh, yeah, really good ride. Uh, quite a soaker actually. Um, got quite um, moist on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to find it. It was actually a bit yeah. slow, but it's actually really? good. The drop bit was. Yeah, ah, it was a good ride actually. Uh, I'm 12 o'clock, so um, the actual Halloween event actually starts now here at. Um, here at Chesington, so yeah, just in the Banyan bit here in uh, Chesington. 
so yeah this is the show what i actually definitely want to watch here um, today so yeah that's why i came here to chesington so we are just in um wild asia here uh like i said at the beginning of the vlog here um wild asia is going next year um which is uh quite a shame really i'm not gonna lie it is actually a really nice area here at chesington but yeah it is a shame that it is going but to make way for a new brand new indoor roller coaster here at uh, chesington so yeah i'll keep you updated on my social medias but it's going to be very exciting to see the future here at chesington since having the uh since having the jumanji area here at chesington which was a really good success here at the park um so i would love to see a brand new area here at chesington it'd be really nice um to see also um i think they're going to make room for new flat rides as well here in the area as well so yeah i can't wait to see uh, what they got in store here at the park but yeah so the banyan show the final flame unfortunately this is the last year of the banyan show here at chesington it is an absolute incredible show what merlin do put on uh, here at the park so yeah 12 30 14 30 15 30 and 16 30 so it's um showing three times um in one day so that's really four times in one day so that's really cool so we are just heading towards monkey swinger now so yeah it's a good chair swing uh the fountains have suddenly just started working here uh this year so that's really cool uh to see um so yeah let's uh take a swing on the monkey swinger here at chesington and see you after the ride let's go and there's gavin in the queue on So just came off of monkey swinger it's freezing cold today and i'm absolutely drenched i'm dry i know you were sensible and sat in the front literally the second the second it finished literally i had about three waterfalls three fountains in one go honestly mate that ride gets you the wettest ride in the in the uk i think honestly when the fountains work but yeah it's such a good ride though you love monkey swinger don't you honestly but you were clever and sat yeah. in the middle in the inside yeah and i was a bit stupid enough to sit outside going through all the fountains <laughs> mate i'm soaked and i'm freezing cold so we are just about to watch the banyan the final flame here at chesington yeah can't wait for this show honestly it's really good this year apparently what i've been told uh, on social media so yeah let's sit back and enjoy the show here at in wild asia the banyan show the final flame let's go it's
So we have just watched the Banyan, the final flame in the wild Asia area here at Chesington. Honestly, that was incredible. Uh, probably the best show uh, they have put on um, from Banyan. Honestly, um, new actors as well. Um, nice uh, fire and ice as well. Um, bubbles, smoke, mist. Um, the dancers were really good in there as well. Um, really immersive as well. Um, went on about 10 minutes, 10 to 5 to 10 minutes, so that was a really good long show here at Chesterton. Definitely recommend coming to watch it. Uh, I would like to watch it in the, um, in the dark, but sadly it closes at 5 today, Chesterton do, so unfortunately I won't be able to get it. But yeah, that show would look absolutely incredible in the dark uh, with all the fire and all the mists and all the smoke are there. Um, but yeah, really good uh, show, definitely recommend it. And yeah, um, there was about 12 actors in there, so quite a few um, definitely made a show there uh, here at Chesington. So yeah, there is quite a few more shows to watch here at Chesington, such as the one at uh, Venture Point, and also the one on the small stage right next to the uh, main entrance here. What do you think of the show? Oh my god, it's sick. Yeah. Get down there and watch it, it's the best thing to watch. What do you like about it? The flames, the fight, the smoke, everything was the best. Yeah. So we are just about to go and check out the Enchanted Hollow trick or treat here at Chesington. Uh, you do have to book um for this and you did it is an upcharge attraction here at chesington uh it did used to be free here at the park but yeah and um, it is now um an upcharge but yeah for move for a adult it's five pound per adult um that is without a treat bag so you can actually add a treat bag to it uh, for five pounds so it is the same as a child um also i didn't see the merlin annual pass um discount on this so i don't think you do get it in there but and also it's 10 pound per child and that does include a treat bag there as well so yeah we're going to take a look at the enchanted hollow here at chesington uh the trick or treat So we just came out of the Enchanted Hollow here at Chesington. Yeah, it was a really good um, walkthrough attraction there. The same as last year, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we didn't get just the square bars and the adults got something too, so that was a bonus. So yeah, we just paid uh, for one treat bag here uh, to split between us. And yeah, it's quite a decent amount. Um, so we got like four packets of crisps here. Um, yeah, just a little bit in there. So, yeah, is it worth it? No, probably not for the price, but um, but yeah, it's a nice thing. It's a nice gesture for the um, for the kids here at Chesington to um, meet people, and also it's very cheesy as well. But it is a good event here. What did you think of the uh, haunted hollow? It was it was actually well good. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit creepy, but it was alright. <laughs> creepy. Yeah. It was. Very cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy our snacks now. I'm having all I'm having all of them. Gab's not having one. and dance and just be our ghostly selves and everyone who's come back to the graveyard just celebrate oh. that sounds fabulous oh. it's been almost straight. a year since we've had any company oh i don't know i kind of like things the way that they are the graveyard is normally so peaceful and i always get so shy when we have to entertain guests oh come on i know you'll love it once you get into it everyone's here now and expecting a celebration I just 
just uh, watched the after party on the adventure point stage uh, yeah that was really good um, quite immersive this year honestly the actors are incredible here uh, at Chesington anyway but yeah they're even better this year um, here at Chesington so yeah really enjoyed that loads of smoke loads of um, effects there um, and all the like loads of lights as well so that was really cool um, yeah really enjoyed that show what do you think of the final stage oh, was that it was actually well good. Yeah. Yeah. I love the costume designs this yeah, year. They're really nice. Um, yeah. So um, definitely, definitely a good event here at Chesington this year. Um, they haven't changed up um, a lot this year though. So we are going to take a look at the Vile Villages later on in the day. So yeah, having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> So we are just making our way onto Croc Drop. Brave the Drop, release the curse. It isn't spinning unfortunately at the moment. So see you after the ride. We're having an awesome time here at Chesington today. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot to do for their Halloween event. It is a bit repetitive from last year though. Uh, I do hope that they do actually bring back a maze uh, next year, uh, like Creepy Caves again, because it really did make the uh, make the Halloween event last year but it is good um, for what it is though honestly really well themed around the whole park as well uh, there is quite a lot of uh, shows happening uh, all day throughout the day and also Vile Villages is back as well so that's really cool the walkthrough um, the walkthrough scare zone here at Chesington so that's really cool as well but yeah they got a lot of shows going on and um, quite a lot to do for the family and uh, family fun as well so that's really cool drop here at Chesington um, not the best um, not the best ride I had on crop drop 
unfortunately it's on its shortest cycle and it's not rotating um, so yeah it was just a straightforward drop there um, but yeah it does um, pack a little bit of um, intensity there um, it's great for your first drop tower honestly it's a really good well themed uh, drop tower here at Chesington so yeah but I do wish they um, did paint up the um, crocodile there uh, on the top because as soon as you get on top of the uh, lift on top of the uh, drop tower there uh, it is a little bit the paint is coming off of it unfortunately so yeah just a little bit of a paint job and it will be just as nice as it was when it first opened there but yeah um, it's a great ride here at Chesington but just a little drop tower here but it's a well themed one honestly it's really nice so what's your favorite ride at Chesington um Vampire. Vampire. Yeah. Vampire. Nice. Uh, what's yours? Um, Mandrel Mayhem. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good nice. Good to Cheers, see you guys. <laughs> so we are just about to go into the pumpkin patch now. Uh, this was a really cool area last time I did it here at Chesington. So yeah, let's take it. We have just walked through the uh, walk through attraction here, the pumpkin patch, uh, right next to Safari. Um, yeah, really nice um, area there. That is loads of picture points in that area as well. Um, yeah, really nice, especially for the kids as well in that area. So that was really cool. Um, very colourful as well. Uh, quite a lot of pumpkins in there as well, and a lot of like scarecrows in that. So yeah, really nice. What do you think? Oh, it was actually quite good. Yeah. Scary as well. Like... Scary? Yeah. Scary? <laughs> God. Yeah, uh, he's a bit of a wimp. Um... <laughs> yes, he does. He does. So we are just heading towards the vile villages here at Chesington. Um, it is their kind of scare through attraction, uh, walk through scare attraction here at Chesington. It is kind of a maze here, but yeah, it is absolutely amazing. It was really good last year. Um, so yeah, let's go and check out the Vile Villages here at Chesington. Let's go. You coming in? Yeah? Yeah. All right, so that'd be good. So yeah, see you inside. <laughs> shy. Welcome to the village. Yeah. I stay down here in the graveyard where I belong. It's safer down here. It's safer than try the village. It's safer. Further down that path you go. Oh. <laughs> I don't suppose you've seen any vampires today? No. No? Are you sure? I'm a pumpkin. Doesn't matter if you can talk, you can be asked a question. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Oh my God. So 
we've just came out of the vile villages here at Chesington. Yeah, really good run through that was. I think I preferred it last time I did it. A lot more scare actors in it. But yeah, it does uh, change the scary, scariness rating uh, after uh, three o'clock. So yeah, it has just turned three o'clock. So yeah, um, the park at weekends are open till seven o'clock. So um, doing that in the dark is really nice and scary. Um, suitable for uh, six plus during the day and suitable for 10 plus um, in the evening but yeah really good uh, walk through there um, a little bit scary very good theming as well uh, in their vile villages um, yeah the actors were really good as well and a dark tunnel at the end so that was really cool as well quite a lot of strobe lighting in there smoke effects um, the actors were really good and very immersive so yeah really good uh, one through there So we are just heading in a queue on a 45 minute queue on Vampire, the aerodynamics coaster here. Uh, it was aerodynamics before the coma took it over uh, back in the day to stop the swinging of the cars. But yeah, let's head towards Vampire here in the Wildwoods. Let's go. Still a really good classic here at Chesington. So just came off of Vampire. That is getting quite jolty now though. Um, but yeah, for for how old it is though, honestly, it is an incredible coaster, honestly. Um, all the helixes um, and also going into the tunnel as well, which is really cool. Um, the massive uh, turn there into the tunnel. So that's really cool. Uh, what do you think of the Vampire? It's so good. Yeah, I know. I love it. It's your so favorite much. ride, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you won't go on anything else, will you? <laughs> so yeah, it is a good ride here at Chesington. A really good classic here at the park as well. Um, yeah, really fun as well. Uh, it is actually quite fast. And honestly, it's really good in the dark as well. Um, it is quite intense in the dark. So yeah, um, we're just queuing up for the Gruffalo River ride. So we are just heading towards Rattlesnake here on a 25 minute queue, so let's go.
So just heading towards Cobra. It's nearly coming to the end of the day now here at Chesington. So yeah, just getting a couple more rides in here. But yeah, Cobra is amazing, honestly. San Perla Disco here at the park. Um, I really hope this does not actually go uh, from the park because this is an absolute brilliant ride here at Chesington. Um, but yeah, it is a shame to see uh, Wild Asia go here uh, at Chesington. But yeah, just get my final rides in here on Cobra. It's come to the end of the day here at Chesington Halloween 2024. What an awesome event it has been this year. Um, but it has been a bit repetitive from last year, unfortunately. But it still hasn't stopped us from having a really good day here at Chesington. Uh, also getting into the vile villages as well. Really good actors in there. Uh, really wanted to do that in the dark. Um, but unfortunately it is a five o'clock closure today so we wouldn't be able to experience it in the dark but yeah it's been an incredible day today also all the shows today the banyan the final um finale um has been really good today um really good show honestly i love that show so much but unfortunately it is going um by the end of this year so unfortunately that is the last time of the banyan show Guys, you've been amazing for that show um, throughout the years, honestly. What an incredible show it is. Um, fire and ice, and also changed it up a bit this year, um, which was really cool to see. Um, also, the um, show on Adventure Point, uh, the final play, I think it was. Um, that was really good as well. Loads of um, songs in that as well. We didn't get to see the one, um, the Wilf, I think it is, um, but that is the child show here at uh, Chesington. It's got something for all ages here as well. Uh, also the Enchanted Hollow as well, getting in that. Um, I think it should be a little bit cheaper in here uh, for what you get for the price, but it is for kids, I think, uh, mostly, so that's pretty cool. Uh, loads of actors in that um, and very nice in there as well um, they were uh, also getting on quite a lot of rides today such as Vampire, Gruffalo, Dragon's Fury, uh, Mandrill Mayhem I didn't get on sadly today uh, due to it breaking down all day today really um, so yeah that was a bit of a shame really so I'd love to get back on that um, but yeah it was it's been a really good day today um, but yeah what's been your highlights today? Uh, vampire at the shows and uh, Tiger Rock. Nice. Yeah. What show was your favourite? The fi last fire. The Banyan show. The Banyan. Yeah. Yeah. It's it is a really good show. Honestly, I'd hate to see it go here, but yeah, make way for the new area coming in for 2025. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a really good area here at. Um, Chesington, but yeah, I'm sure they will um, theme it up really nicely here at the park. So that has come to the end of this vlog from Chesington Halloween 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on another video. Don't forget to click that bell notification so you never miss out on another video. You've been watching Coaster Maddie and on YouTube. Until the next one, guys, keep exploring. See you Bye -bye. in the next one. Bye.